Our story today is called Gotta Go, Gotta Go by Sam Swoop. Pictures by Sue Riddle. And when it was time, out of the egg came a teeny tiny creepy crawly bug. She was all alone. The creepy crawly bug held up her head, looked out at the beautiful meadow and said, I don't know much, but I know what I know. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. And she creepy crawled away just as fast as she could go. She ate and she crawled. She crawled and she ate. She ate so much, she crawled right out of her skin. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. Along the way, she met a grasshopper who said, Where are you going, creepy crawly bug? Mexico, Mexico, I've gotta go to Mexico. Mexico, said the grasshopper. What on earth is Mexico? I have no idea, said the creepy crawly bug. But if Mexico is where I'm going, and it is, then Mexico will be wherever I get. And she creepy crawled away just as fast as she could go. Next, she met an ant who said, Where are you going, creepy crawly bug? Mexico, Mexico, I've got to go to Mexico. Mexico, said the ant. Never heard of it. How will you get to Mexico? I have no idea, said the creepy crawly bug. But if Mexico is where I'm going, and it is, then however I go, I will get there. And she creepy crawled away just as fast as she could go. After she had creepy crawled a very long time, the creepy crawly bug was still in the beautiful meadow and Mexico was nowhere in sight. Oh, my, 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 she sighed. Knowing what you know is sometimes very hard. But she was so tired she couldn't creepy crawl another inch. So she made herself a bed, tucked herself in tight, and said, After a nice long rest, I'm sure I'll feel like a brand new creepy crawly bug. For days she slept, and days, hidden from the world. Her sleep was long and hard and very strange. When it was time, she woke. She woke and found she was indeed a brand new creepy crawly bug. She was a brand new creepy crawly bug with wings. They were orange and black and splendid. She lifted her head, looked out at the beautiful meadow and said, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. And off she flew just as fast as she could go. Along the way, she met a bird who said, Where are you going, creepy crawly bug with wings? Mexico, Mexico, I've got to go to Mexico. Mexico is thousands of miles from here. A teeny tiny bug like you will never make it. But the creepy crawly bug said, I am what I am and I know what I know. And make it or not, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go to Mexico. And off she flew as fast as she could go. She flew over farms and highways, cities and towns, forests and rivers. For days she flew, and days, all on her own, and only knowing what she knew. But still she flew, and still she cried. Mexico, Mexico, I've got to go to Mexico. Her journey was long and hard and full of dangers. At last she came to a valley. Far below, she saw millions of bugs, just like her. They covered the trees, changing the green to orange. She drifted down and joined them. All but one was fast asleep. Hello, she said. Hello, he said. Welcome to Mexico. I'm so glad to be here, she said. And she fell asleep. Winter came. The creepy crawly bugs slept and slept. In spring, the sun woke them. Good morning. Good morning. Will you dance with me? Why, yes, thank you. I'd love to. Two by two, the creepy crawly bugs flew into the sky and they danced, changing the blue to orange. When the dance was done, the creepy crawly bug turned her head, looked towards home and said, I gotta go. I gotta go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Again, she flew. She flew over rivers and forests, towns and cities, highways and farms. For days she flew, and days all on her own, and only knowing what she knew. 
At last she came to a meadow. She fluttered for a while, looking for the one leaf that would do, and landing lightly, laid the first of many eggs. It was the reason for everything. And when it was time, out of the egg came a teeny tiny creepy crawly bug.